how you doing guys Joel the Techie J here with checking out the PlayStation 4 Slim and I am coming from the PS3 Slim. This is a cheaper and smaller version of the PS4 and comes at a price of somewhere around 30 grand for the base. The one I have here is the triple game 500 gig base variant with Drive Club, Horizon Zero Dawn and Ratchet and Clank. The box outside has references to the newly improved media station features and also PlayStation VR capability. So opening the box we have what is an envelope with three physical exclusives bundled in right next to another bigger white box. This is way better than what you used to get on the PS3 in. Opening the tab on the inside we are greeted by two compartments unveiling all the accessories. First up we have the new and improved DualShock 4 controller, then a band of cables, HDMI as standard, two different length power cards, that's nice, the mono earpiece to connect with the DS4 and the literature. The one I have here also comes with a 90 day trial of PlayStation Plus. Now under all those accessories we have the console itself which is bookended on either side with corrugated cardboard sleeves. Opening all that packaging up we have the console in its simple yet angled form factor with a more polished rounded look to it. It is now slimmer as the name suggests, more rounded and has a nice matte black finish for the base variant. The special editions do come in white, silver, gold and a few more finishes. The majority of the console is matted out with, except for the glossy center on the inside edges which also hides a hell lot of a stealthy ventilation. Another good design trick is the rubber feet in the shape of the PlayStation buttons in the bottom. As for design, this is just a clean and simple blending in kind of approach. Also, now we have physical inputs for the power button and the slot loading Blu-ray drive. The power button also features LEDs to indicate the current state of your console instead of the bars you used to get on the original PS4. There are two USB ports on the center, widely spread out to the corners. On the right side is a mount for the vertical stand in case you want to prop it up that way. The left side features the regular co-branding you would find on a PlayStation. PS, HDMI, DTS, Blu-ray, Dolby, etc. Also present is an access port for upgrading or replacing the 500GB hard disk drive. As for I.O. we have most of the essentials for most gamers. HDMI, Gigabit Ethernet and a proprietary port for the PlayStation Eye. That is also right below more ventilation and the power supply port. The optical audio output is now gone. The controller we get is the new and improved DualShock 4, which now has a tiny light strip above the trackpad sync to the light bar on the same. The grips are longer now and the whole controller itself has a nice grounded, happy, comfy feel to it. Buttons are great, the texture is pleasing and the sticks are grippy. The Slim also supports HDR out if your TV supports it, but no 4K and is also PSVR ready. Overall this console is much cleaner, quieter and technically more cooler due to some tweaks in the hardware. More so, this is just a much more cheaper, quieter, cooler and much more compact replacement to the standard PS4. So for me, coming from the PS3 Slim, this is much of a gain including the slot loading drive the significantly better hardware and since it is the smaller brother of the original, the ecosystem is well built already, so you're gonna have no problem with the games. So from the budget gamers perspective, I believe this is the right on the sweet spot of the current generation of consoles, but if you already have a PS4 then you don't really have to buy this. Okay then, hope you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts on the slim and I'll be back in the next video. One more thing, thanks for watching so far, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like Homer Simpson or vote it down if you didn't like it and give me all the uh, feedback you can give me in the comment section down below. Also please subscribe if you haven't already and this is Joe, the Techie J, signing out and I'll see you in the next one, ciao.